Sublet is provided to enter services performed by vendors that get billed out on your invoices. These include the machine shop, the radiator shop, the body shop, and perhaps the towing service. You can click on Sublet and enter the details for any outside service that you paid for. Sublet is similar to labor as it includes work requested which must be filled in and work performed as optional. There are no labor time or technician details to enter here since they don't apply to outside work. Once you have input a description of this sublet work, enter the cost paid to this vendor. Press tab and the markup setting for sublet stored in setup standard tables will be applied to provide you with a total price that will appear on the customer's invoice. Vendor and category fields allow access to record the details for this item. Although sublet is considered labor, account class is aimed at sublet revenue for reporting to differentiate from your labor performed in-house. If you are paying labor commissions, this checkbox allows you to not count these sublet dollars in that calculation. Sublet follows your labor tax setting. There is a tax button provided in case any exceptions need to be made. Because there is no save option to store repeat sublets, we recommend saving them as labor lines in stored jobs for rapid recall later at any time.